And to see them go from like a bare hive mm. and then build it from the ground up is really neat too to see. And it was it was funny too because Tom and I we were watching them you know take care of their mm -hmm. their dead. And you know the, the entrance and exit is right here, and then the tube is there. But for mm -hmm. some reason, in their like all the bees did this too. They would take the dead, they would work dragging them across <laughs> everything here, and then they would stop right about here, and they would go straight up, and then they would probably lose their dead, so it would drop back down, and they work back and forth, back and forth until finally they got a good hold, and they would drag it all the way across here, and then they would go out this way. And it was, I. I they all did that, so I don't, I don't understand like what that process was in their brain that you know they needed to to do. But that was interesting. But I think this is a great learning tool. Yeah. And oh, yeah. so I, I just uh, saw the local West Virginia bees. So they supplied the queen mm -hmm. and yeah. some other so bees. I was I was calling all over the place trying to find mm -hmm. uh, somebody that would just sell me bees. I was mm -hmm. going to do it myself. Finally called this guy over in Ravenswood, West Virginia. He was just so excited. He's yeah. like, this is awesome. You know, I'll donate the bees. Oh, very nice. That's. He said, I I'll donate the bees. Just, um, just so you know, put my name. Yep, it's Bee, bee Haven Supply donated. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, actually, it's we partnered with him. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Not just donation. Though. Okay. He came out, kind of gave us a little lesson on how, to, how it's done. And... Um, I'm taking a video. Sure, he showed, us, showed us how to install the bees. He brought mm -hmm. the bees. He brought the queen. We installed it together with him. And he even, like, we even call and check up with him and tell him kind of what's mm -hmm. the next step, mm -hmm. what we're doing. Now, the worker bees are not capable of stinging. Or, oh, no, they no, are. No, they can't. But then once they do it, they, once they do, they are done. They die. Yeah. Because okay. what happens is once that stingers in you, you swat it or whatever. Okay. Every time they sting, it pulls out their insides. Okay, okay. So, I see. I mean, oh. they'll live for a little bit. They die bit, for their hive, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so gross. they don't want to sting you. Are there some other types of bees that also are in this that mm -hmm. are, don't sting? Um, <coughs> the drones. The drones, the drones okay. don't fly. I think the drones can still sting them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so the drones are... <laughs> But in general, they sting only if they're agitated or something. Yeah, so you have to really if you're gentle around their movement, they'll just like sit on you I and go away or something. And okay. stand right next to that hole all the time. They don't bother me. Okay, okay. The only time I got stung when we were installing this is when we had to kind of the term is bonky. We had to kind of bonk the hive. Okay. To get them uh, kind of <laughs> off the walls. Okay. And so when we drop them in there we had to shake them out in there okay they did not like that they shook them down and they took off the line one jumped up stung me right in the hand does it leave a mark oh yeah it, my hand swelled up it hurt um i don't think it leaves a scar i think it goes away no, it's just I mean, a tiny it's hole see, right well, it was last week, so. oh okay um but it does hurt like there's been a for a while yeah for about a week week yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've had a bee sting. This was 20 years ago when I was on a bicycle in IIT in my college. Uh, while biking, it stung me here and then I fell off the bike because of that. But, like, nothing really happened. I mean, it, it sw swelled up a little bit. And, it swells up. Uh, so, so, yeah, that's the, the bee bus. That's what they come in. Yeah, I think, okay. I think it would be really cool if, like, I could clean that up and we can somehow, like, put it... Somewhere where people aren't going to, yeah, because I mean, it, again, it's just part of the process, like yeah. transporting so your bees. This There's little bee thing right here, um, that's the queen hive. Oh, uh, it was a bridge. Yep. A bridge. So she'll sit in that little box right there. Yeah, her, little, okay. her little box there goes inside of that little hmm. compartment. So, how long does, do they take to get used to the thing? Uh, about two days. Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you take like progress pictures like after one? We month, have. Week, well, okay. we've just been taking periodically. I'd like to maybe like set up some tape here on the floor and get like a tripod mm -hmm. and just keep a camera out. And I was thinking yeah, I could even set it up behind the counter there and just yeah. leave it. Yeah. And just take a picture every day and watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do like a long oh, distance yeah, time lapse. Yeah, and, it grow. and we have yeah. cameras we never use. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, it would be even cooler to put up a live feed. Yeah, and just mm -hmm. let it. Really cool too. So people can see what they're doing. No, but if you're gonna put those uh, shields, right, IR, 
live camera is not gonna. Yeah, that's true. Live feed wouldn't work. So you probably just do a time the, lapse or yeah, something yeah. and and. Take the because I check it every day. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they drink that sugar water about a quart every two days or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's just pure cane sugar that you mix in there, like a one to one ratio. Mm -hmm. There's a music band by that name that plays in uh, Center County State College. Cane sugar? Pure cane sugar. Pure cane sugar. <laughs> yeah. 